This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2004 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. It's heavy duty. Um, three quarter ton, four door extra cab, short bed. Um, it is a six liter gas V8. It's four wheel drive and it's an LS, which is cloth. It has 147,290 miles. Uh, it was a dealer trade in. Uh, I bought it in Anaheim last week and it's a beautiful truck i had to have this truck uh, um anyway uh, we bring them here we do an inspection this is what it looks like um my guys hand me this uh 60 gas v8 three quarter ton four by four four door extra cab ls unreal condition well they say previous owner loved this truck extremely well maintained excellent condition previous owner installed manual mirrors so instead of power mirrors it has manual mirrors um, new battery and wiper blades uh, is all we had to do to it um, I'm gonna walk around this truck um, I'll point at anything I see cosmetically which isn't much um, and that you could actually pull up whatever I point at on the uh, photo gallery and uh, zoom in on that spot using the uh, uh, magnifying glass icon and uh, it's pretty much like being there. I see a little, I think I see a little dent right behind the, right above the uh, exhaust. I think that might be a small one there. Um, anyway, the point of these videos is not to sell the, uh, the, yeah, I think there's a little ding right, right there. Um, it's not to sell the truck. It's to make sure that whoever buys this truck is well informed and there's no drama. Okay um, Drama is no bueno for uh, for the uh, internet car business. Uh, we got to have uh, Probably 60 to 70 percent of our vehicles will ship out of state And the person who ships it to Indiana or Iowa or we have a couple this week go to Minnesota They need to show up and they need to be at least what we told them they were they can't be anything less There's a ding right here they can't be anything less than uh, what we told them, okay? So, uh, yeah, can't travel all the way there and then, you know, have it fall short. So if there's something wrong, I am going to point it out. Uh, if there's anything that we know about that's wrong, I'm going to point it out. That is the point of this. So, that is how we roll. I'm going to fire this guy up. Hundred forty-seven thousand three hundred and two miles. And the air conditioning already feels great. It's like seven thirty in the morning, and it's already hot. All right, Kelly Blue Book for an 04 extended cab LS with one hundred and fifty-eight thousand miles, which is incorrect. It's got less than that, so it really books for more for more than this. Um, let's see. Typical listing price would be ten thousand eight hundred sixty-one. If you can buy this truck. For $10,861, you're doing really well. I don't know what my brother's gonna put it online for, but if you can buy it for that, I would say this is a success. This is a hell of a truck. Um, Carfax, um, there's the VIN, no accident damage, no damage reported. Uh, bu -bu -bu. I did this Carfax 626 of 19. Let's see. This is what I made sure of when I bought it because it had a, a Minnesota plate on the front. So I climbed underneath it and looked for uh, rust because it's from Minnesota and nothing. So this guy clearly took care of this truck. You can't have a truck like this. Gosh, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Let me get over here in this. There you go. The glare. Um, you can't have a truck in Minnesota with no rust if the guy wasn't like really really careful with the truck he had to take super care i will make sure i go underneath the vehicle with the cam with the uh camera and i know my brother took undercarriage photos um because that's what everyone's going to want to see uh when i do the video and i walk around it again i'll look at the inside of the doors and everything so you can see that because uh, that's my first concern when i see that um 
There's a Minnesota title. There's the title. It was a first secured party. It was a Wells Fargo dealer transaction. All right. And there's 147,290 miles. And on June 20th, they sold it to Wheel Kinetics. Okay. So there's the paperwork. Like I said, everything that we know, you're going to know. There's no secrets here at all. Secrets don't work and we don't need them. We have plenty of people, well, 600 to 800 uh, people a day who will see our vehicles online. And there'll be somebody out there who's fine with the way we represent our vehicles and whatever is wrong with it, they'll be fine with it. The only thing that can go wrong is us BSing. Then we have a problem. Nice, quiet, six liter motor. Perfect. All right, let's see. There's your passenger front window up and down, door locks. Okay, now this is the important part of, the seat looks like nobody ever sat in the passenger seat. Manuals are there. Look at this thing, it's crazy. Bottom of the doors, especially on the driver door. On the bottom of the door, that's where you're gonna see rust. And there is not even a tiny bit. It's crazy. This is a beautiful truck. All right, let's look underneath real quick here. So you see what I mean. Yes, I did get on my back and look up because uh, I had to know. There's a tiny bit, like you see on the frame, a little bit on the rail there, but like you can see that in Arizona. Absolutely incredible. This is where you always see it. Right here at the bottom of the driver door. The door opens a lot and gets snow in there. And there's none. Zero. That's a great, that's really great. Like I said, the previous owner put manual mirrors on it. I know why, because they're about $300 a piece for factory mirrors. So it doesn't have power mirrors, okay? You can't buy power mirrors. You might be able to find them at a wrecking yard for a couple hundred dollars for a pair. But then you've got used mirrors and the motors could be slow. So I don't recommend that. I would just stick with whatever you're doing. Seat, uh, perfect. Everything works fine. Tilt wheel works. We didn't even send this truck to detail. This truck showed up like this. <laughs> All right, so this hasn't been like dolled up or anything. This is just the way I bought it. So that ought to tell you something, right? All right, let's see. Air is blowing ice cold. I can attest to that right now. It feels great. Radio. This report is sponsored by me. There you go. Lights. Mirrors. They belong. Ba -ba -ba. Everything fine there. Let's see what else we got. Uh, cruise control. Let's see. You got tow. See the button there. Light on and off. On off. What else we got going on here? all the settings here right run through that boom 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 all that stuff right let's see all the settings here that's all these things right here all right all right let me put it in neutral and let me go to four low now we're in four low drive that's definitely four low and the gate will open now which is good 
in reverse. That's in four low, perfect. Neutral, we'll go to four high. Drive, in reverse in four high, perfect. Neutral, two wheel drive. There you go. All right, let's go for a ride. All right, this truck, um, if you come to Tucson Drive at home, this is how it'll work. Uh, you will pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. Very simple. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're going to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. There'll be uh, no tax, no dock fee, nothing. Uh, just the price of the vehicle. Once we receive full payment by wire, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, uh, sign it off to you, scan it into your online file, and then mail it to you. We even scan it in the envelope, we mail it in. So you'll have the title at your home before you have the truck shipped to you. You'll have your shipper bring the truck to you. Um, you already have the title in the mail when he shows up. You'll just take the truck and the uh, title you already have to your motor vehicles and get plates. It's very simple. Um, boy, this thing is... Yeah, I swear. <laughs> when I saw this truck, it was like love at first sight. And I was right. Uh, yeah, this is a nice truck. Um, let's see, what else? Buh, 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 buh. Deposit. Once we have your deposit, which is $500, we will put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelkinetics.com, and you and everyone else will know that it's yours. Until then, it will stay for sale, so please make sure you get your deposit in if you're interested in this truck. Uh, Chevy trucks, like 02 to 06 or so, lately that we've had them, gas trucks, are gone in a day or two. I'd be shocked if this thing was around. I'd be really shocked if you could buy it for what it books for. Depends on what my brother's thinking that day. He could put on there, you know, anything from 9,000 to 13,000. I have no idea. I know that this truck is very, uh, is really, really clean and runs great. I can, I don't know. We'll see what he does. Um, last part of every video, um, and you can confirm this by watching any video you find uh, that I've done online. We'll probably have 40 or 50 available on our website that you can look at. Last two minutes of the video, just check out any truck, uh, any car, any vehicle we're selling. And I say the same thing. We don't have salesmen, so we don't have to pay those guys, which is great. Don't have to have them around harassing people. Um, we don't have popcorn machines. We don't have scones. We don't have a game room. We don't have massage chairs like they've got over here at Precision Toyota. Bunch of independents. So you don't have to pay for that stuff. So it's not in the price of the vehicle. Okay. Um, you also aren't paying for future repairs in your vehicle. See, all these brick and mortars know that something will break eventually and you'll be back uh, saying, you know, a window motor didn't work or, you know, something's wrong. And so they have to pump up the price for that too. Well, we don't have that problem, all right, because we are not fixing your truck. When this truck breaks, like any vehicle, uh, you will be fixing your vehicle. We give you lots of information so you can make a good decision. But at the end of the day, so on day one, you will be the owner and you will fix your vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's the first day or the 300th day or you know five years from now. That truck just showed up for us. Um, you will be buying your vehicle. Um, parts, service, whatever. Um, to, regardless of when it breaks, okay? Everything breaks. All these vehicles will break eventually, and when they do, uh, you will be fixing your vehicle. Simple as that. That's the tough love part of this video. The reality of this truck, the reality is, uh, change the oil and the filters and don't run it into a wall. This is a badass truck. This is tight as a drum. Shifts perfect, runs great, obviously well-maintained. Um, there's nothing going on here. This is a nice truck. Um, but I have to tell you how we operate. This is how we do it. This is how we keep the prices down. Um, and uh, so anyway, that is that. Thank you for your time.